to our third video on the Praxis exam, Praxis 2 exams, the math content, knowledge, the 0061 exam. Anyway, we're here, we're dealing with discrete math, and we're looking with at recursive functions, which, and again, a recursive function just uses information bef in each step, right? So e for, for any step n, it uses the n minus 1 step to figure out what's next, and that's what we have here. We know that f of 1 equals negative 3. But for f of n, anything greater than or equal to 2, we have to plug that into this formula. So if we want to know f of 2, what do we have to do? Well, first we plug in f of n minus 1. What, what's that? Well, 1, right, 1 was, um, sorry, f of 2 minus 1, because we're plugging in f of 2 minus 6. Well, what is f of 2 minus 1? That's f of 1. And what's f of 1? Well, that was our first step, right? f of 1 is equal to negative 3, so it's negative 3 minus 6, which is negative 9. So now we know f of 2 equals negative 9. f of 3, see we're using, now we're going to use f of 2 to build up f of 3. f of 3 is f of 3 minus, minus 1 minus 6, right? Well, what's f of 3 minus 1? Well, that's negative 9. We just established that, because that's f of 2 minus 6, which is negative 15. And then f of 4, well, what do we do? We take in the values and plug them in. f of 4 minus 1 minus 6. 4 minus 1 is 3, so, so it's f of 3 minus 6 f of 3 equals negative 15 minus minus 6 equals negative 21 and that's our answer D. So in, in these recursive problems you find out whatever starting value they give you plug that into the next step and keep reiterating the pattern. Let's look at some more examples. So here it says given the recursive function defined by f of 1 equals 1 and f of 2 equals 2, we want to know what is f of 5 for this formula. f of n equals 2 f of the n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. So if our goal is to figure out f of 5, so I'm going to start with f of 3 and build my way up, which equals 2 times f of n minus 1, well n is 3, minus 1, this is f of 2, plus f of 1, oops, f of 1, the reason being, here we have f of n minus 2, well, n in this case is 3, we're picking 3, minus 2 is 1, so what does f of 3 equal, well, f of 2 equals 2, that's what we're given right from the start, so 2 times that is 4, plus f of 1, which is 1, so f of 3 is 5. And f of 4, we'll use that value. So we have 2 f of 4 plus, right, plus f of 4 minus, 4 minus 2, which is 2. So f of 2 is, is 2, plus f of 2 times f of f of 4, or f of 4 doesn't really make any sense, f of 3 actually, right, because it's n minus 1, the formula, it should be a 3 here, let me just bold that in there, so 2 times f of 3, well f of 3 is 5, we established that here, so 2 times that is 10, and the answer is 12. Okay, okay we have another recursive function, now we have, I'm going to write this one down, it's hard to read, f of 0 equals 3, and f of n equals 2 times n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1. And we want to know what's the value of f of 3. What does that equal? Well. Here we have a recursive function, so we know what f of 0 is. Let's plug that in for f of n. 
where n, n is greater than or equal to 1, we start with f of 1. f of 1 equals 2 times f of 0, which is today's n, which is 1 minus 0 is 2. So, so this is 2 times times n minus 1. 2, oops, I made a mistake. 2f. Put that in red. 2f n minus 1. Well, what's that going to be? Well, n is 1, so it's just f of 0, which is 3. Because f of 1 minus 1 is 0, f of 0 is 3. And the answer is 6. For f of f of 1. Sorry, I'm going to keep going. Now you take that to find f of 2. So f of 2 is going to equal 2 times f n minus 1. So 2 of f of 1. Right? What's that going to be? Oops, plus 3. Did I go back? I should add 3, right? It says 2 f of n minus 1 plus 3. So in this first scenario, it's 2 f of n minus 1 plus 3 for all n greater than or equal to 1. So we have f of 1, which is 2 times 3. And I want to add 3 to it to get 9 here, right? Not the number we had before. So this should be 9. And, and now we take that number and plug it in. So f of 1 is 9. So we have 2 times 9 is 18, plus 3 is 21. So f of 2 is equal to, to 21. And then we take that value and plug it in. Well, uh, f of 3 equals 2 f of n minus 1. Well, now we're dealing with now we're dealing with f of 3, which equals sorry 2 times f of 2 plus 3. What's f of 2? Well, that's 21. So 2 times 21. 42 plus 3 is 45. So f of 3 equals 45. Okay, hope that helps.